What is freedom? Sometimes, in order to feel that we are in control, we do things that make our heartbeat come alive. To feel the pulse kicking. To hear every breath come and go. To just walk without a destination. To wake up while the world is sleeping. To listen to the morning birds. To explore without fear. It's the simple things that bring meaning to life. So, why not do things that excite you? Why not change your routine? You are in charge. You are powerful. Exercise your freedom today. No thoughts, just go out and live. Look if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment would you capture it or just let it slip? No his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down, the whole crowd goes so loud he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out, he's choking, how, everybody's joking now the clocks run out, time's up, over, blow snap back to reality. So there I was peacefully sleeping, dreaming, switching positions for you. It was a good sleep. Then I suddenly woke up. It's 4 a.m. I thought, what if I walked to town right now? Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Can you guess what I did next? Cause sometimes you just feel tired Feel weak And when you feel weak You feel like you wanna just give up But you gotta search within you Try to find that inner strength And just pull that shit out of you And get that motivation to not give up And not be a quitter I walked out of the house trying to be as quiet as possible It was dark I used my phone as a flashlight. To be honest, I was afraid to film and not be aware of my surroundings. I did it anyway. I think we have a relatively safe home. Except there are dogs that will chase you if you make the wrong move. Speaking of safe, there was a drunk man who I thought was going to attack me. I was about to hit him with my water bottle but he went past me. He probably thought I was the attacker. Adrenaline is real. So I continued walking and filming. A little scared, but a little assured because there were vehicles on the highway beside me. It's twilight now. The light is coming and I felt better. The air wasn't as cold as I thought it would be in the morning. But the fresh wind kept me going. There's no one else walking but me. I passed some bikers and I walked faster. The empty streets feel surreal. Like another simulation in the multiverse. Honestly, I had my headphones on but there's no music playing because what if I didn't hear if someone was following me? Spoiler alert, no one followed me. But it's better to be safe than sorry. More lights. The sun is definitely about to rise. And I'm about to walk on the bridge with the best view. My friends, they always tell me not to make you my wife. And man, they was putting you down. And now they see we rolling. Me and you, we scrolling. They don't want to come around. Let me hear you say. Love it when you hold me. Love it when you hold me. Never find a love like this. Let me hear you say. Love me. Look at what you show me. Never find a love like this. Love this life. Try to keep us apart. I'm in the town proper now. And it's 5 a.m. What I was thinking right there was how I got here. My mind was so focused on walking that time flew and suddenly I'm walking here. 
I just did 4 kilometers without breaking a sweat. Just kidding. But my asthma didn't act up and I got to 7-Eleven just on time. After securing the package, I checked the time and uh oh. It's 5.30 am and I still have to walk back. I really thought I was superwoman that day. So I continued on my journey with my 7-Eleven haul. I should have brought a bag because the paper bag was taking it. There's still not much traffic in this part of town and I thank the Lord, who wants to be breathing petrol smoke and dust in their morning walk. Here I was filming because there's a suspicious fan that I saw earlier. My paranoid mind was thinking of crime drama realness. Then I got on the bridge again. I should have been on the other side. But I didn't want to cross the road. There's no real sidewalks here. The road planner really said no to walking. This was the point where I was thinking of hailing a tricycle because this walk was feeling more real. I could feel the blisters forming on my feet. And something was wrong with my shoes. But I really wanted to finish the 8 kilometers. I just said to myself, this too shall pass. There's diesel smoke in the air and I wasn't having it. I wished now I brought my bike. But there's no bike lanes here that I wasn't confident of my skills to dodge cars. I was starting to sweat because the sun was up and the night's cold was quickly fading away. This was the only real sidewalk on my whole route. 100 meters of sidewalk because it's a school area. But even this sidewalk is messed up. Where are my taxes going? I was regretting walking back. Every step I took was only because I was too stubborn to give up. There's still 2 kilometers left and I wasn't sure if I can make it. I'm not stopping but I'm also walking slowly. My paper bag was ruined. This was me filming the situation before I pocket my phone and power walk the rest of the way. I should not have bought this drink because now I look like an amateur with 2 drinks and blistered feet. Great. I still took videos because I have to document this struggle. And I have to distract myself from throwing in the towel. I passed by someone burning dried leaves and the smoke was huge. I hate the smell of smoke and I jogged past there so fast. I was on home stretch. Less than a kilometer and I can finally sit down. Everything felt good at that moment and life was starting to have meaning. I was about to cry. But we stayed strong and we got home safe and sound. Ladies and gays, that's an 8 kilometers walk we just finished.